First priority entry. Well, obviously, cleaning out the feed bin so that the pigs can start on the appropriate diets can be a very important part of getting ready for that, that group of pigs that the person in the barn usually has control over. The late finishing diet is often about 40% lower in SID lysine level than the grower diet. So obviously, if you start pigs out on a diet that's 40% below what their lysine requirement is, feed for seed is going to be very good. So you don't want to have an awful lot of that diet left in that bin. Besides the fact that that's one of the only times you have a chance to really clean bins out and make sure you don't have build up in some of the molds and things that we worry about. Thoroughly cleaning the facility. Certainly, there is, there's been uh, quite a bit of data, and Steve Dries is going to talk about some of the, the health impacts on, on growth and feed efficiency a little bit later this afternoon. This is a data set uh, that uh, shows the difference between a clean facility and dirty facility on average daily gain in feed intake. And certainly, that's where most of that it drives, is the differences in growth rate due to differences in feed intake. In this study, there was no differences in feed efficiency. Some of the data I think Steve's going to show you a little bit later uh, does show some differences in feed efficiency depending on how much disease is present in, in that facility. The other thing to do prior to entry of moving that new group of pigs in is making sure you check and repair that feed handling equipment. Feed handling equipment, of course, leaking bands, broken feed lines, feeder adjustment rods that, that don't work, greasing the bearings on the, that equipment. Uh, other equipment in the barn, the fans, the fan covers, the louvers, the sprinklers, the heaters, and all the different things that you need to be able to check before you, you can put another group of pigs in the barn.